we prepare for Purim, one of the issues of Purim is giving, uh, giving gifts to the poor, to those who need. And in this case, it's different. It's, it's special. Usually we teach the people how to handle and how to manage the money. And in Purim, we like to give, to give some gifts to those that uh, really did a very good progress and in Pamunim. <laughs> so here in the offices of Pamunim, it's the decision making. Who will get this really, this financial boost? Well, basically we look at the families that have been so committed to making behavioral changes the whole year round. And they're working so hard and the expenses in Israel are really high and they really want to change their behavior so that their financial situation can improve. And actually, especially because they're so committed to making those changes, they've made a very strict uh, schedule for themselves so that they won't fall into debt and that they ensure that they're budgeting correctly. And that doesn't leave much room for them, actually, especially at these times of year where there's extra expenses for the holidays, for Mishloach Manot, and um, we really want them to enjoy this time of year and not fall from all of their good work that they've done and be able to continue and to enjoy the holiday even though they've committed to making all these very strict changes in their life which can be challenging but they're excited about. Now it's mainly about the progress, right? Yeah. You meet these families that are in need and you don't give them a, a check, you no. give them assistance. Yes, usually we give them assistance, we, we teach them, them how to deal with the money, they have to get responsibility about the money and economic uh, uh, situation. Because they're committed, then this money won't just get wasted. Of course it won't get wasted. Every shekel that they have, they treat with a lot of respect and a huge responsibility. They want to ensure that all the money is going to the most important things first, and they don't want to waste any of their money or spend it frivolously. When you first meet them, yeah. they must feel like it's impossible yes. to change the situation. Yes. To say, well, we have so much expenses, more than income, how are we going to take down so, you know, so a lot of money each month, but they learn how to, to deal with it, that they don't need to buy everything, they have to think about anything that they buy. Now we're here visiting one of the families that yes. you've accompanied, yes. and uh, how do you relate to what we're doing today, which is actually after you accompanied them and after you continue telling them we're not giving you money, we're here in Purim and we're actually giving them the, the financial boost. Yes. Well, families that they live for, you know, a few months after they've made a good progress. We give them some money here for the holidays so they can go through the holidays easier and enjoy the holidays. They're, they're making hard work. The money that people are giving to Pamonim uh, will be given out by Pamonim volunteers on the day of Purim and goes explicitly towards the mitzvah of Matanot Levyonim. Pamonim, we and all of our supporters and friends and partners uh, from around the world have the merit of doing this mitzvah together and uh, we are very happy and appreciative for anyone who can participate in that with us.